I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy classic American quarter pound cheeseburger that's cheaper than McDonald's and will actually benefit your health. This recipe is actually super simple. I only have six ingredients and I'm gonna break down the price per serving on each of these ingredients so you really get an idea of how this thing is $4. The first ingredient we got is Dave's Killer Bread Burger Buns. I chose this one because I knew a lot of you could relate to it and I actually do like the ingredients. Ingredients wise, you can see they use all organic flours. Uh, they do have organic cane sugar, however, However, that's only six grams of added and then you can see less than two percent of uh, canola oil which is okay less than two percent 160 calories 32 grams of carbs and only six grams of added sugar the second ingredient we got is grass-fed ground beef this is 93 percent lean no specific reason i have 93 percent lean i actually like the taste better of 85 percent but if you want a less calorie beef i would go anything above 90 percent if you want more taste and higher fat i would go 85 percent and there's one ingredient in this beef then for the cheese, I went with a provolone cheese. I absolutely love provolone. I was debating between cheddar and provolone. To be straight up, I'm not a fan of American cheese. Uh, I don't even think it's actually real cheese. So we're going with a fresh one that has clean ingredients. We're gonna use one slice for the cheese. So 80 calories, six grams of protein, and only six grams of fat. And the ingredients are only milk, salt, and enzymes. And then for our toppings, we're gonna throw on some pickle chips, slice of red onion, and a slice of tomato. The tomato, red onion, and pickle chips Barely add any calories, so it's a great topping. And then of course, we're gonna top it off with a little ketchup and mustard. Primal Kitchen Organic Ketchup. Only 10 calories per serving, two grams of carbs, and zero grams of added sugar. And most importantly, no high fructose corn syrup. This recipe does not take long at all, so I'm gonna prep the ingredients and then we're gonna get cooking. We got a pickle spillage. Most of the time I'm going to be using the grill to cook my burgers, but I'm also trying to show you guys how easy it is, so I'll just do it on the pan. Now when it comes to cooking your burger, personally, I want that medium rare. I am not gonna be putting on my burger for long, but that is going to be completely up to you. We did about three minutes on the first side, then I flipped it, I'm gonna go for another two minutes, but it's time for the cheese. And a quick little hack to melt the cheese, we're going right on top of this thing. But not for too long, because provolone melts very quickly. Burger is done, so we gotta assemble this thing. We got our toasted buns, throw pickles right in there. Coming off with the Nice and melted burger patty. Add our onion, tomato, mustard, ketchup. Top that bad boy off. Get rid of these. Let's cut this bad boy open and see how we did. First look together. Oh baby, perfectly cooked. Let's try it. You guys gotta make this. Mm, one more. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, I am so happy with how this turned out. Cooked it perfectly for my liking. It held together well and it tastes so good. Best part yet, the macros on this thing. 416 calories, 35 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs, and only 16 grams of fat. Wow. I'm gonna finish this absolutely delicious burger. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. If you have any other specific foods that you want me to make in the future, comment down below. 
Happy to try it out. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Tune in every single Monday at 10 a.m. I will talk to you soon. Peace.